Hi everyone, welcome to Medicine Note YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about theophylline and it is a bronchodilator. As we have seen in the classification, it comes under the classification methyl xanthin. So, it is a methyl xanthin and it is a bronchodilator. Please do watch the before video, which is bron uh, salbutamol and bronchial asthma. After that, watch this video for better understanding. The mode of action the CAMP produced in the body which dilates the bronchus and this CAMP is metabolized by the phosphodiesterase into 5AMP so the thiophylline inhibits the action of the CAMP so in previous video I have said that the ATP is changed into CAMP by adenine cyclase it is a it is a normal action of the salbutamol to convert the bronchus to dilate the bronchus now this CAMP produced in the body now there is produ production of CAMP that CAMP is metabolized by the PDE which is phosphodiesterase into 5AMP so this thiophylline this drug which is thiophylline inhibits the action of phosphodiesterase so there is no, no digestion or metabolization of CAMP so this increases the CAMP level as well as the CAMP level increases then the bronchus also dilates so it also inhibit the release of mediators of inflammation and, and it does not produce any bronchial secretion this is the action of theophylline over bronchial asthma the uses are chronic bronchial asthma, status asthmaticus and used as diuretics. Now the theophylline which is given in 200 mg tablet, it is available in 200 mg tablet and it is available in another form which is known as dediphylline which is theophylline plus ectophylline which is in the form of tablet as well as intramuscular injection. The aminophylline which is theophylline plus Ethylene diamine 100 to 250 milligram tablet IM slow IV injection as well as 15 to 20 milligram in status asthmaticus condition. This aminophylline is a combination of theophylline plus ethylene diamine. The adverse effect of this theophylline is hypotension as well as headache. Drug interaction This theophylline should not be given to fentanyl. Which is used in which is used in anti-epileptic drug and rifamycin, which is an enzyme inducer. So this theophylline should not be given along with the fentanyl and rifamycin. These two are the enzyme inducer of the theophylline. So this theophylline effect decreases. Thank you. For more videos, please do subscribe, like, and share my video. If you have any doubt in it, please do comment it. If you have any topic to suggest, please do suggest it. Thank you.